So I'm watching Saturday Night Live reruns with the great Gilda Radner playing Emily Latella. Remember? Why do parents want their children to see violins on television? Now, Emily always missed the central point, the basic facts. Chevy Chase would have to straighten her out, then Gilda would issue her trademark, never mind. I say there should be more violins on television and less game shows. It's terrible Mr. the way Tell things... What? Mr. What? Tell it. that was violence on television, not violins. Violence. <laughs> oh, well, that's different. Yes. Never mind. It came to me in a flash. Emily's technique could really help America's biggest fan of SNL 2017, a man who can't quite bring himself to admit error and apologize. That, of course, is our president, Donald Trump, who worries about it all, violence, TV, and his own difficulties with the facts. Just think of it. When we win on November 8th and elect a Republican Congress, we will be able to immediately repeal and replace Obamacare. Have to do it. Bring on Gilda. Never mind. And let's hear from Donald Trump again. A five-year ban on White House and congressional officials becoming lobbyists after they leave government service. Could you please cue Gilda? Never mind. And then, of course... I would build a great wall, and nobody builds walls better than me, believe me. And I'll build them very inexpensively. Never mind. Never mind. How about Trump's wacky tweet-a-thon? Terrible. Just found out that Obama had my wires tapped in Trump Tower. Or is it legal for a sitting president to be wiretapping a race for president prior to an election? New low. President Obama, bad or sick guy. Never mind. You know, millions believed he'd be the closer, the art of the deal man, who'd wrestle those dim-witted politicians into submission and make America great again. That's what he promised. Gilda, one more time, with feeling, please. Never mind.